What's going on YouTube? This is David here from Apple Attack. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to downgrade any iOS device from iOS 8.4.1 to iOS 8.4. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. So as you guys can see right over here, if I go on my iPod Touch, it does say under version iOS 8.4.1. So we are on the latest official version. So if we go ahead and go into Safari under the link in the description below, which should be ipsw.me, there is a separate website uh, where you can find all of the uh, information if you're not sure what model number you are, all that kind of good stuff. And also, before I forget, I wanted to remind you guys, this is a temporary solution. Very, very, very temporary. This will only work for a little while longer. The reason why is because Apple's signing window for iOS 8.4 is still open. Whenever Apple decides to close that window is when this will actually no longer work. So in order to tell you guys when it'll stop working, I will update the video title as well as probably annotations, descriptions, all that good stuff. So make sure to be tuned in to know exactly when this will actually stop working. So if you already know, you can go ahead and download from here as well. Uh, but you are going to need the, uh, the iOS 8.4 IPSW for your device. So I'm going to select the iPod Touch 6th generation with the iOS 8.4 IPSW. Now for the time being, for you know this tutorial, I already have this downloaded. So next thing we're going to do is open up iTunes. Now we're going to actually go ahead and go over to the keyboard of the Mac. And now on the keyboard you will see that I have an option key. So if we hold down the option key, now this is, I believe, the shift key as well on Windows. Uh, so if you hold down the option key on Mac and you go ahead and press check for update, you should get a little pop-up box indicating that you can pick uh, or browse for IPSWs. So we're going to go ahead and select the one that we just downloaded. Uh, you shouldn't have two there. If you have two there, you might have multiple, but if you are doing this for the first time, then you should only have one. I have two because I decided to restore to iOS 8.4.1 fresh through an IPSW. So also you do want to make sure that you are one, signed out of iCloud completely, or two, find my iDevice, find my iPod, whatever is turned off inside of settings iCloud. That just is going to ensure that the downgrade goes smoothly. So here's uh, my iPod again, it's on 8.4.1. We're gonna go ahead and select the uh, restore IPSW. We are not actually restoring though for the time being. We are actually just uh, doing the check for update. So this does actually downgrade a device. So it says iTunes will update your iPod to iOS 8.4 and will verify the update with Apple. So we're gonna go ahead and press okay. It's gonna say extracting software. So I wanted to actually include this in here because I wanted to talk about uh, something that may or may not happen. Now apparently, and I checked with a couple of other people that have done this as well, apparently uh, there might be a little bit of an error with this check for update as well. So that's why I'm actually providing you guys with this. Because at first I didn't know that there was an issue with this and I went through and tried to actually do the option check for update and everything was working just fine until a little bit later you guys will see you know, in a little while that it should just say like, this is not like it's not out this build is like not eligible or something I don't know it just it wasn't working it says preparing iPod for software update and then all of a sudden you'll see that it'll pop up and it'll tell me that for whatever reason it failed and it's not going to work so it's kind of like iffy it might work it might not work for me it didn't work and you guys will see that like right now it's gonna pop up there we go the iPod David's Bur David Burns's iPod could not be updated this device isn't eligible for the requested build so again for whatever reason it just randomly decided to do that so what I actually did here is I went ahead and booted this into, D into uh, DFU mode and when I went ahead and booted this into DFU mode it actually uh, iTunes recognized it as being in recovery mode DFU mode recovery mode if you're plugged into iTunes it's basically the same thing I checked my Twitter because I was like I don't know if I'm still gonna record this um, so I went ahead and just did option restore and when I did that I selected the iOS 8.4 IPSW so that'll also work as well if you do that 
So it probably will work a lot better if you go ahead and select the uh, you know option restore, but I would also try option check for update as well. So because I didn't want this part of the video taking forever, I did speed this up significantly. I sped it up about eight times over. So it's definitely gonna take a lot longer for you to do this part. Uh, but basically what this is actually doing is it is restoring back down or downgrading back down to iOS 8.4. So again, like I actually had said previously, and I'm gonna remind you guys of this once again, this will only work temporarily. It only will work for now, and it only will work until Apple stops signing iOS 8.4. Once they stop signing iOS 8.4, this method will no longer work, and there's really nothing we can do about that. But for now, we can definitely take advantage of this, and we can definitely go ahead and downgrade our device. So now we're going to go through the rest of the initial setup process. So I'm going to speed all of this up. And there we go. So it says, welcome to your new iPod on iTunes. So we're going to swipe and it says, hello. So here is the initial setup process, just like it's straight out of the box. So I went ahead and set it up. And now we can go into settings general and about. And you guys can see under version, it says 8.4. So we did it, guys. We successfully downgraded our device from iOS 8.4.1 to iOS 8.4. So now this can be very useful for possibly going ahead and jailbreaking your device. If you want to go ahead and jailbreak your device with the Taiji jailbreak tool for Mac, you can do that now. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That's it for this video. I hope this video helped you guys out. I have a lot more videos coming up before I start school, so please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to catch them. Also, make sure to become a fellow attacker and follow me on Twitter and go check out my Facebook fan page to get notified about when I upload a new video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Catch you in the next one. This is David, signing out. Peace.